Hi, Terry Rowland with T. Rowe Studios. I've been asked to explain how I go about squaring a quilt. This little wall hanging or big wall hanging um, is ready to square. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it diagonally from corner to corner just to make sure if it's to see if it's square. Okay, and then go to the other corner. Okay, we're a little short on this one. So I'm going to, we're gonna tug on it diagonally and we're going to just hold our hands on either side of the center and just pull slightly. And then we're going to measure it again. I'm looking for 65 inches and we are exactly at 65 inches. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of bubbling going on in here. I'm going to spray this with water and I'm going to let it dry overnight, patting down all of this area to get it to lay flatter. Um, when I did this, this is a Ricky Tim's um, cool kaleidoscope pattern and everything is on the bias. So I'm not, I'm not concerned about this little bit of bumbling. I'm sure when I'm ready to trim it tomorrow, all of this will be laying flat. The quilt is ready for trimming. I allowed it to dry overnight because I had spritzed it. Um, you can see how nice and flat it is now. So I'm going to be ready to, to trim this quilt. But the very first thing I want to do is grab my rotary cutter. Now I looked at the date of the last time that I actually changed the blade. It was August 28th. And I've been using it a little bit lately and noticing a couple of skipped um, missing threads. So I know it's, it's due to be changed. So I went down, found a new blade, put it in. So now I'm going to change the date on it so that I know when I changed it last, dry that up and put today's date on it. By doing that, I realize when the last time I did change my blade because we never remember. I've got more than one cutter and blades are expensive. Uh, so that's your tip for the day. So now I'm going to get ready to, um, to uh, cut this. Now I did do the diagonal measurement, so that's good, we're, we're even there. And I've grabbed out my big ruler. So I've got a 20 and a half inch and I've got a 12 and a half inch. And I'm gonna just throw that 20 and a half inch in that corner and I'm going to throw my um, 12 and a half inch in this corner. Now I want to make a straight line on this side and a straight line on that side. I do have my um, a couple of old mats underneath here to protect my table and I can cut to about halfway down uh, just over halfway on the sides and then I'll have to move my mats and I can go all the way to this edge with it. So let me just get this squared up again. Set that in the corner. Set this one in the corner. And I'm gonna grab one of my big rulers and extend the line from this one to this one. And just make sure I'm happy with that, which I am. I'm gonna get my back to you because I gotta cut this way for safety. Make sure those are stacked right on top of each other. Okay. Oh, missed a little bit because of the, there. Now I'm going to 
come around the corner and build up again lining this up with the side making sure it's square with the ruler and then uh, what have I got here Okay. And I can go to this bar and know I've got my cut my ruler or my mat underneath there. There. Okay. That part's done. I'm gonna do the same on the top part. Because I know I've got a mat up to. I'm just going to pull this over just ever so slightly. Up to there. This is lined up on this side where I cut it. Okay. My quilt is trimmed up and is square. I hope that that helps you to, to try and get your, your quilts square and ready for your binding. <laughs>